Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Angel Handmade Paper Craft. Today I am working with Kindred Stamps and we're actually doing a collaboration with Beth Duff Designs. So I have the images ready to go on Express It Blending Card. So I'm starting by colouring up the Kindred Stamps images. So this is uh, the Perfect Nanny stamp set. So I, like I said, I've got them ready on Express It Blending Card. I cut, fussy cut the images out using my EK Success Cutter B scissors. And um, my tip to cutting with um, when you're doing the fussy cutting is to make sure that you're moving the images rather than the scissors and that will give you that nice smooth cut. So these were all cut by hand. So I'm just working my way through with the Copic markers. I will have a list of all of these on my personal blog if you are interested. Um, I did have to refill my marker in between. That's why both of those lids are off. It's just equalizing. Um, I didn't want to put that on video, but that's what I was doing. <laughs> so I'm just working my way through, colouring all the bits and pieces in. I generally do a layer of the lightest colour first, and then I go darkest to lightest. So as you can see, there's now a Q-tip on the side of my videoing there. I had to clean another one of my markers. Usually I make sure that they're not on screen, but obviously I didn't notice. So working my way through colour by colour, and making sure it's all nice and blended out. I'm now moving on to her hair. So I'm using the flicking technique on her hair to make sure that we get a nice blend of the strands. Colouring the rest of her scarf. And her little umbrella there. So just working my way through. I've got this nice and sped up for you. This is about eight times the speed that I generally colour, so no, I don't colour this quickly. That'd be nice. <laughs> so I'm colouring her hat black as well. Um, what I should have done, because it was such a small area, was probably just go darkest to lightest without the, the lightest blend and then working my way back because I ended up getting a little bit on the flowers around her hat, so I had to fix those up using a Uniball white gel pen. So you can see that there, that's that one all finished. Now I'm gonna work on my little man. So again, just working my way through, marker by marker. As I said, I will have all of these listed on my personal blog, so you can um, have a look in the description below the video. I will have all of the linkages up there to purchase the images and to also go on over to my blog and grab a list of all of those markers if you're wanting to try and keep in much the same theme as what I have used. So I'm just working my way through. I'm nearly done colouring up his shoes and his uh, walking stick, adding some red to his bow tie and then working on his hair. So bit by bit and now these images here are all from the Beth Duff Designs stamp set. So that was the Adventures Abroad. So I'm colouring in my London bus in red tones, trying to keep it very traditional. Not that I would know, I've never actually seen one. I'm, I'm actually from Australia, so I've never been to London. I've actually never even been overseas. So one day, one day it is a dream of mine to go travelling, but, you know, that's life. Life gives you hiccups and things, and um, you don't get a chance to do all of these things. So one day I'd like to. So colouring in all of the windows and now working on my clock tower. I did colour in one of the areas that I shouldn't have, but um, I was able to fix that up using my different coloured markers, so I wasn't too worried about that. That's me there colouring over the top of the brown so that um, you could see the grey rather than the brown. I'm just working my way through. Alright, so that's my clock tower done. I was going to add the bridge in as well, but it ended up being too much on my card, so I did just use the clock tower and the bus. So now I'm just processing what I'm going to do. I decided I wanted to add a road underneath the images. So this is a die set from my stash, not from either of these companies. So I did run that through my Sizzips Big Shot and then I will start placing all of the images where I want to put them. So 
I cut one of the sentiments out which I wanted to add to the right hand side and I did make a flag myself so I did hand draw this so please don't criticize it I've done my best all right so now I'm going to add some scotch ATG just to the bottoms of these images just so that I can get all of my placement right um, they are still movable at this moment they don't have that much adhesive on them so I'm just trying to get them placed on the road where I'm going to eventually put them down permanently. So just sliding the clock tower in behind. Just one piece at a time. I find this is the easiest way for me to get all of the images exactly where I want to put them before I make them permanent. So I'm just rubbing off the extra adhesive from the back of the um, the road as it, you could see it through the little line gaps there. So I'm just adding a little bit more adhesive onto the clock tower and my little man so that I could stick him to the side of it and not have it moving everywhere. And now that I am happy with my layout, I'm going to start putting everything together. So. I'm going to start adhering the clouds, which again is from a die set in my stash. So I've added on just enough adhesive just to work out the placement of my clouds and pop those in behind. I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to put everything. And then once I've got that ready to go, I'm going to grab a stencil and do some ink blending on my actual card base. Lastly, just adding on my flag to the background. I didn't want to cover up too much of it, so I just kind of worked out the placement before I permanently stuck it down. And then um, any excess of the road and things, I'll just cut off. So here I'm using some post-it notes just to mask off the bottom section of my card base because like I said I wanted to pop that stencil down and do some ink blending and I didn't want it to be seen at the bottom underneath the road. So I didn't adhere my stencil down, I just sort of laid it down and then just used my hand to hold it. So I'm using some um, Ranger Distress Inks, this is the mini ink blenders and I'm using Broken China and then I will use Squeeze Lemonade. And I'm using the Ranger Mini Ink um, blending tools as well. So I did move that slightly on purpose. Um, and then I'm going to add the yellow. So I'm just pouncing it down because I didn't want to turn my blue to green. So just very gently. I was happy with the way that it turned out. So just putting all of my... Um, foams away in the bottom of the ink pads, cleaning off my hands before I get any ink anywhere which I have a habit of doing and quickly wiping off my stencil and my work area. Alright so now I'm going to work out the permanent placement of all of my cutouts and then I will pop some more Scotch ATG down and I will adhere them permanently. So this video is just about done. Um, I thank you all for popping in with me today. We are doing a blog hop release um, with the collab. So if you haven't already, make sure that you download your passport um, and then go through all of the blogs and pick up all of your free images and pop them into your passport. So lastly, I'm just going to add some Wink of Stella. Um, don't forget to leave a comment on all of the design teams um, cards and projects and things and on the Beth Duff design teams as well. They've all worked very very hard to make this work and um, we appreciate you all stopping in. So thank you again and I'll see you all soon. Bye!